Hello and welcome back to Imperion Reforged Eden. Last time we came across this rather fascinating sector, didn't we? Uh, Manifasta in the Yarohara sector in Polaris space. And there is all sorts going on here related to trading and missions, I guess. I mean, you've got bounty hunters. Uh, you can take down bounty hunters and then get rewards here. We've got mining missions over there. There's a refinery over there if you want to do something with some resources. And there's also these here that I neglected to go around last time. Let me zoom in a little bit. These are secure supply caches. These are not to be ignored, it turns out. However, I'm going to be doing this a little bit jammy. It turns out you need some sort of entry key for them. And I spent forever looking up on the internet how to do that. I could not find anything anywhere on them. So I'm just going to basically god mode through the first door and then play it honestly from there. So here it is. Let's jump down. Okay. Something that we are going to need, however, is this hacking software for spam. I've got two of them because we've got, well, two supply caches to look into. I have no idea what the rewards are. None at all. Eh, eh, eh. You know what? Let's just jet back in. <laughs> So yeah, this door here. Now, something tells me, if you have a look, secure supply cache access card to unlock. So we can't actually make it through. Maybe there's a little hidden way through? I can't help but think there is a little cheeky something. I've had a look around. Not a very long look around, but I did have a look around. But I didn't see anything. And if you blow anything up, you become enemies, obviously, with the Polaris. So that is not what I'm looking to do. Right, so we are going to just do it here, okay? Act like we can get through. So, GM, and boom. There we go. Oops, wrong button. Uh, also wrong button, there we go. All right, here we are. So we can actually access everything here, as you can see. All this stuff here. Is this stuff we can like retrieve? No, okay. Here we go, lovely. Right, so. These computers allow us to unlock various vaults. You can see the numbers here. You've got one, which I think is somewhere up here. It goes up one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I, and there's loads of containers in each of those vaults. I have no idea, absolutely none, no idea what is in each one. So let's go ahead and talk to the small console. Hello, small console. Uh, so we can attempt to hack this. One thing we can do is apply some hacking software I don't know how much this helps us, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, high frequency code. Let's scan that. There we go. And that really narrows it down. That is uh, uh, much better, actually. Okay, so what we want to do is we kind of just want to go somewhere in the middle each time. Uh, actually, does that really narrow it down? Not really a lot. But there we go. We have a bunch of attack uh, attacks. Uh, we have a bunch of attempts to hack in e each time. So we've done no security resets. We've done no code breakers. Low frequency scanner, we did one to get this far. Uh, so let's go with 2,600 here. Or 26, I should say. Okay. 26, 5, mm, 26, 600. Very good. 26, 300. You can, you can see how this works, basically. You just keep halving it. I find it's the best way to do it. Uh, 450. Okay, 26375. Let's try that. Here we go. Two, six, three, uh, 40, roughly. We'll do roughly that. Okay. Two, six, three, five, five. Two, six, three, uh, I guess six, four. There we go. We pretty much narrowed it down to just a few possibilities each. Uh, we'll go six, nine. Oh, use a security reset. I think that gives us another attempt. So we can attempt the hack. Two, six, three. Yeah, occasionally you can do a reset that gives you an extra hack. So I think if you have a better hacking skill, you probably get extra things you can use. So maybe I should be waiting to do this. Maybe I'll just do this one and leave the other one, but we'll see how we get on here. So two, six, three, uh, six, seven, I guess. All right, two. Six, three, six, eight. That is it. It is done. First hack successful. I heard a door open to my right. So that must be the first vault opening. Lovely. Right. Okay. That's quite a wide range. I wonder if we can maybe get a little bit lucky. 
to mm, 44,000, so your guess was higher than the code. Okay, that's not bad. 41,000. Okay, 39,000. Actually, 39,500. Okay, 40,250. 39,750. Actually, that's not quite about mm, 850. Okay, user reset. Give us an extra guess. Yeah, we want to try and click that every time because it may come down to the wire on occasion. Uh, sorry if this isn't the most exciting thing. It is just a feature that exists in the game, so we might as well test it out. Uh, we'll go 700 actually. It was lower. 39. Eight three nine seven eighty. Attempt to hack three nine seven forty. Three nine seven twenty. Okay, three nine seven ten. Wow, three nine seven o five. And again, three nine seven o. Is it 39701, 39702? There we go. We've done the second one. Awesome. Right, let's use a low frequency uh, code scanner. So I think the spam software really helped us narrow it down so we can just sort of plow through these. I think it was a much bigger range before. This is quite a narrow one. This is this is good. Looks like we're going to get three then. That's, that's brilliant. 38,000. We'll go 300. Okay, good. 37. Uh... 800. Oh, look at this. Look at this. 37,500. Codebreaker was discovered. So what does that mean? What's a codebreaker? Is it just sort of... Uh, I don't actually know what a codebreaker is. Can we... we can, I think we can ask Ida for analysis. Okay. Security vulnerabilities. Code breakers available when your guess is close to the actual code instantly hacks the system. Okay. One code breaker. Attempt to hack. How do we utilize this code breaker? 375. What was it? 800. I don't know if I trust it, so I'm going to go like mm, 650. I don't quite know how to use them. I'll need to look that one up. Right, anyway. Uh, 7, 7, 20. 3, 7, 7, 3, 7, 7, 75. All the sevens, maybe? 3, 7, 7, 7. 7. Must be, yeah, very close then. Like it said. It was higher than the code. Use the code breaker. Ah, there we go. Can we, can we keep the code breaker? I guess we'll just do that. I don't think we can. Yeah, no, it doesn't actually. So there's our third one unlocked. Ooh, very nice. Okay, that is, oh my God, that's a, that's terrible. Oh, this is, we're, we're not going to get close to this. Unless we just go really lucky, right? 40,000. Okay. Oh, wow, that's actually really good. That's close. Yes. Okay, 43,000. All right. 40,150, uh, sorry, 40,000, 41,500, sorry, I meant to say. Mm-hmm. 40,750. High frequency code was discovered, fine. 40,350. 40,000, apparently we've got 10 guesses still left. We're doing pretty nice here. 40,100. 40,150. <laughs> Riveting YouTube video this is. Riveting. 40,135. Five attempts remaining. 40,141. Okay. 40,138. 40,136. Okay, 40,137. That's it, we got it. Just in the nick of time there. 
We can either use a low frequency scanner or a high frequency scanner. So we go for a low frequency. That's the fourth one. I think it gets a bit harder from here. I'm guessing seven attempts. Okay, 37 to 44. Okay, that's not bad. But we only have seven attempts at this. Mm -hmm. So 38,500. We'll start with that. It was lower. That's a shame. 30,900. Okay, use a reset. Yes, please. <laughs> we need everything we can get here. 38,750. Lower than the code. 30,800. Ah, oh, damn it, damn it. 38. Now, once we use up all of our attempts, that's it. It's locked out and we never get to try it again. 39,000? Actually? Okay, that's higher. Oh, wow. Oh wow, this isn't good. 38, 9, we kind of have to just hope it's maybe something really low. Damn it! 38, 9, uh, 50. Damn it, okay, we have one guess. 38, 9, uh, 57. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, lockdown in effect, there you go, there you have it. Uh, so I think one to four is this side. Have a little look here. Here it is. Um, okay, let's just have the jetpack on. What? This is a bit weird. You sort of go down here. What's this about? Ah, okay. Ah. Here we go. Ah, oh, oh, it's cobalt, copper, silicon. Met the silicon there. Uh, I guess this is the first one, so it's just basic ores. Alright then, I guess this is a, a cue for the Beluga's loot box to come about here, so where is it? There it is. Oh, actually, I need to connect to it. No, I don't need to go to it, because I'm going to do this, aren't I? Oh. Here we go, Beluga, loot. Thank you. Now, if I click on another one. Yes, it does it automatically. Thank you. Well, we can uh, get the deconstructor working. By processing all of that, this stuff. I'm guessing the ores get a bit rarer then than the other boxes. This is a lot actually. And that's just from one. We've got four of these. Unless, of course, they're to all totally different things. I mean, possibly, you know. Uh, how do I crouch again? Let's see. I guess that makes sense. Alright. In here we've got. Uh, I think it's just higher volume. Actually, it looks like the same stuff, actually, now that I think about it. No, it looks like there's a bit more, like an extra hundred of each. Holy crap, the loot box is full. Alright. Inbox it is. Oh, different! Okay, go back to the loot box. Can we move the silicon there? We're actually going to put you here. Uh, go back to input. There we go. What else have we got? Oh, aluminium. Aluminium, some people might say. They are, of course, wrong. Uh, these can all actually go in the inputs, at least those can. This can go in the loot. Got that magma site. Did we get everything here? Okay, there you go, guys. That's uh, number two. So we, already we can see it's a little bit different, the stuff you can get. All right. Up we go. Number three. All right. Right, what have you got? Neodymium ore. Now we're talking about better ores. Yes. We're now running out of loot though. Cobalt, magnesium, cobalt, iron, copper. I guess we're good for our basics then, <laughs> for a little while. Especially silicon. We're really, really getting a lot of that. 4,000. Well, oh, and that's just the ore. This can go here, this can go into the loot. I mean, I guess that saves me time somewhere, right? Somewhere it saves me time. I do want to have you get these. Oh, ow. <laughs> oh, I never noticed this box. Somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Nothing really interesting there. I wonder if any of these have anything good. Or is it just sort of basics? They probably only have basics. 
These are sort of for show crates, aren't they? Alright, anyway, number four. That's what you want to see, isn't it? Number three. Uh, oh, there's four over here. Six, yes. Four is over here. Ooh, the other side. That must be good. Huh? Okay. What is it? It's the same! Woo! Yay! Isn't that great? Oh, neodymium and zascosium ore! 300 zascosium! Titanium ore! Okay, now we're talking. Sathium, zas, titanium. Uh, I'm loving all the magnesium, by the way. That's, we'll come back to you. Sort out the ores first. Ore, blimey. I should say. Okay, is there anything the other side of it? No, that's just a, it's a two blocker, isn't it? Okay, good. We can go ahead and throw these on me. Those there, those there. And these can go into outputs. But our inputs filled up quite a bit there. So there you go, that's what four of them look like. I'm guessing you get more, you know, you can get the likes of a restroom and maybe gold and some of the better ones. I would really like to do them. I, I mean, yeah, I don't know how to check my hacking skill though. Not actually sure. Oh, no, that is not what I wanted to do. No, no, no. No, 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 don't. Careful. It's okay. It's okay, Imperion. I was just kidding. Ah, it's okay. You don't need to do anything. Uh, but yeah, I'm not actually certain how to check it. Possibly in solo missions. Speaking of solo missions, I do have a mission to do. A mining related mission, actually. Which we're going to be looking at. So that... Oh, hello. What's this all about? What does that do? So if that opens all of them, ah. Oh. What did that do? Hmm. Do you need to press that before you do this? I don't know. Well, whatever. We're done here. Uh, oh yeah. Back through we go. There you have it. We probably shouldn't do the other one. That'd be a little bit naughty of me. Uh, but I did want to show that off just because, you know, feature in the game. I want to see how I could do, actually. It's my first time really giving the hacking a proper go. A prolonged go. Um, is it? What's wrong with me? There we go. Okay, so. I believe I had a mining mission. So, mining contract, Sathium, gold, and a restroom. Gold's going to be a bit of a tricky one. A restroom, we need to go to a cool star for that. Sathium's fine. I think we even have some of that. Uh, use to start a mining contract mission, place in your personal inventory, and then start the contract under the PDA contracts. So, we don't need any cores for now. Keep the contract, you will need to complete it. Okay. So, do I use it? It just says PDA. Cool. That's fine. Where is it? Polaris. Just wonder if I can see it anywhere. Hmm. Maybe it's not here at all. Maybe it's not here at all. Uh, we've done that one. We did revenge, didn't we? Well, I think it should be here under Polaris mission information. Repeatable missions that appear, but uh, we don't appear to be able to do it. Uh, this is also my personal infantry. I don't know why I had to put it in my toolbar in my head, but whatever. Uh, that's kind of a shame, really, so I guess we're not going to be doing that. Hmm, never mind. Alright then, instead of that, what I would like to do is... Or what I want to start, I think, heading back. We've, we've done a pretty good job here. But we do want we do want to head back. However, I want to look for I think it's some class K planets on the way back. So we came back from this way. I think it's K. Yeah, it turns out it's class K planets or class B as a sort of secondary option. We're going to be looking for a hell planet. That's right, you heard me right, a hell planet. Uh, that is so that we can maybe get some drone parts. I also have ready a particular SV that might be fitting for the job as well. A combat heavy SV. Uh, it's not the best design though, because all the weapons are at the front, so if it loses its shields, you then lose the weapons. It's kind of not that great really when you think about it. Alright, so 
Move to our first system. I'm liking this already. There's two chances of there being a hell planet. Lava planets. No, lava planets. I don't know what hell looked like. Hell looks like. Oh, there's another one of these areas. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Rich asteroid. Oh, there's all sorts going on here. An arid planet. I mean, this is another trading station, isn't it? So. Should we go take a look at this one? I mean, I doubt it's going to be much different. So we're going to have one of these distribution hubs. Yeah, it's another one all over again. I just wanted to make sure that it was. Well, that's really cool. That's really, really cool. So we don't need to go here. We can go to a different system. Uh, yeah, there's a K over here. Perfect. That will work nicely. Where's my arrow? I can never spot the arrow. Ah, there it is. It does disappear for a while. Yeah, you see that? It disappeared. I always thought maybe it's just in my head, but no. I'm not totally crazy. Okay, so we don't have one, but we do have what's called a Midnight Planet. Never heard of that. Ultra difficulty, high gravity. We're not really kitted out for high gravity. There's Xerax around here. I mean, this is we're no longer in Polaris space, I should probably point out. Increased civilian trade and stuff like that, apparently. Uh, orbiting this dead planet. I find that hard to believe. But yeah, no luck so far. It's kind of a shame, really. Ascent, crusted lava. Hmm. But yeah, have a little look on where we are on the map now. There we are. We're heading back. I just don't know if there's uh, many more. I mean, there will be loads more, let's be real. Yeah, here we go. We can definitely make it there. Well, unfortunately, I've had absolutely no luck so far. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong planet types after all. Uh, I have a feeling I might be, actually. But anyway. Uh, yeah, what have we got here? I don't know, I've seen lava planets and stuff like that, so I assume a hell planet is in the same vein. Hell planet type should be, I'd have thought. But I found this communication satellite whilst in orbit here, and I believe we can hack this sort of stuff, so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have a little look at that. Was that a turret? Ah, I'm remembering stuff now, and I'm remembering stuff I, I didn't like. I'm sure there is. Solar panels there. There is a, there's a console here. Okay, here we go. Talk to the system console. 16,000 new files, lots of runtime. Initiate hacking attempt. Please enter 21 digit code. Okay, so I can't remember how this works again. This is different to the other regular hacking. Uh, let's go Davis Station. Station node captured, five nodes are available. Intrusion detected. Okay, let's see. Threat detected in system. Keep nodes one to 12, trace and intrusion route. Bunch of text. And there we go. Security capture rate 5%, user capture rate 4%. So I can't remember which uh, cycles adjacent nodes. So we need to do a little bit better than that, don't we? Raptor. DM Singularity. So we've got these three different ratings here. This is something to everything. Is that is that good? Let's, let's find out. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I need to watch another tutorial in this, I think. Oh god. I don't know. Am I doing good? That looks good. Okay, this is not good. User capture rate 10%. Security capture rate. There, it seems to be winning. D keep. Let's see what happens. May have to use one of those spams, but they're pricey, they are. Oh, we're doing dreadful here. <gasps> Unless, of course, this is what we're meant to be doing. I don't actually know. I'm just pressing random things and hoping for the best. <gasps> Let me get this every time. That's if it was a bit quicker. Or, I mean, but, you know, I don't quite know how it's, uh, how it works. That didn't, I don't know if that did any well or not. I'm not, I'm not too sure. Ruby weapon, data vault, captured data vault. Let's do it. Retrieving illegal software executable. 
Leave a little, oh, it includes spam. We can just use some spam if we want. Obtained hacking software spam. Data vault has no adjacent nodes. Backtracking intrusion. Okay. Can we, can we use the spam? Injecting malware. All right. I guess since it's free, right? In a way, let's see what happens. Hmm. I'll go for this. Oh, we got some more spam. Can we do that each time? Yeah, it just seems to be capturing me at this point. <laughs> Power station. All right. I don't think we're going to be very successful here, to be honest. Uh, but maybe next time. I might have a little play around of this at some point as well. Uh, nearly there. Both are going up. I guess we'll just sort of go with a flat, flat freeze. Whatever. This should just see it through. Uh, so why would you do hacking? What do you get? Well, you get data usually, which sometimes trade uh, traders want. You can exchange and they'll, they will pay through the roof for it as well. We're talking 30,000. Oh, there we go. Next to the terminal. 30,000 plus credits and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty good, I have to say. Uh, but we've got a spam software for, for that, so... There is that, at least. There is that. All right. Um, right, did we see another planet? I don't think so. I think we are one jump away. And here we are. We've almost returned home. After a long journey. Are there any little last minute stops? There is. There's chemo. Was that? Chemo beta. I think we can just about make that jump, you know. It's going to use up a lot of our... A lot of our juice. The good thing is, though, we're actually mapping out the various stars, though. So if there is something we're looking for in particular, we should be able to find it. Okay, there's nothing in this playfield. Lava and ascent, and that's it. That is a pretty large white desert, very large planet. Yeah, it looks massive, to be honest. Another one here. This is this is just next door. Let's quickly look there as well. Whilst we're in the area. Hothema. <laughs> Great name. Nothing here apart from this. Blind to the owning faction. So I'm guessing this will be a Xerax trading station. What is this? This is different. Temperate. This is a Maya. Ah, Maya. Right. I think that bugged out for me before. Possibly. It possibly did. All right, we're done looking around. We are going to head back here to Empe. That is actually our system that we have been, we were using as a sort of home base in a way, in Xerax space so that we always have something we can smash up if we want. We still have a few hundred spare pentaxes, so we've done pretty well. Mining one asteroid really helped. We can also trade. We've got a lot more money. We've come back with a lot more money as well as more resources. Now, nothing here. We want to go to the Orbit of our planet here. Maralalite. Whatever it's called. Pretty awesome blue star this, isn't it? Okay, really making me take the long way around. Alright. And here we go. So if I'm not mistaken, there might have been a harvester in orbit here. Probably a lot of things in orbit to be fair. Maybe that was somewhere else. We've got Periot class frigates, a tugboat, as, hmm, House Rados tugboat, you say? Well, we can probably work with that, uh, but here we are, we've almost made it, House Rados Plasma Century, there's all sorts going on there, we are running a bit too close to some of these sentries here, Xenu production that has shields apparently, it's a cargo dock that doesn't. Which is interesting to note. Hmm. Very interesting. Now, did I not save where my base was on this planet? Apparently not. Discovered a new POI. Nothing. Oh. 
also pretty sure there was a harvester around here. Maybe it was around where my first planet was, actually. There might have been a harvester there. Uh, but I'm going to want to start taking out drones, as in the drone swarm drones, that is. Uh, but we're going to need a ship, and we are going to need to go over there, probably possibly to drone space, but I wanted to do it on hell planets, I ideally. So we're going to set up all of our mining operations and completely rinse some of these planets dry. Definitely. Uh, we also want to start processing some of these ores as well. That's something we want to do. Yeah, that's a blank POI. That's interesting. Why is it blank? Is there nothing there? Alright, oh, we're not too far away actually. Beautiful, beautiful! There we are. There it is, Ignite Processing Base. I love this planet because it's not too, uh, not too big. But there we go, we've got our current operations underway. We can grab more Sathium. The basic resources we have so much of. I don't really want to go for many more of them. I'm only interested, I guess, in Pentaxid. Prometheum, I think, is always going to be quite useful. There's a trio up there we can probably take. And we are also going a little bit far here. Alright, nearly there. Okay, we are overshooting. That's fine. And there we go. Very elegant. <laughs> Alright, let's just hold up here. There it is. Thrust us off. Yeah, the return home. The return home. Uh, let's have some food real quick. Rich food. We'll go for the burger this time. There we go, that'll do us. So, I call that a successful voyage, to be honest. We got a lot done, we saw a lot, we fought a lot, and most importantly we got all those laser drills. So, what we want to do is come over here to Ignite Processing Base and we want to go ahead and throw our ores in, don't we? Well, unfortunately, this doesn't actually... Oh no, it does appear to be... Oh, it is programmed up, it just doesn't look like it is. Yes, okay. Power left. Is that 43 hours despite... Is that, is that really working? It says it is. Maybe because it's not actually being used right now. Okay. Uh, input furnace. Here we go. Right. Want to go have a little look at the loot box. We've got all of the stuff here. Is that furnace... Does that stuff come out of the furnace? Yes, it does. Great, 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 great. That is what we wanted. Yeah. We've got plenty more where that came from. I have some of this as well. I don't think there were any others. It's all just basic stuff. It's mostly in the input here. Uh, yeah. I don't know what does get processed here. Oh, the magma site as well. How could I forget? We've got that as well. Sathium. I don't think aluminium works there. If we go... Do you know what? I really want to see how this works. If we go input, loot, loot box, magma site. Oh, that takes a while, doesn't it? <laughs> There's a big ores. Oh, blimey. I'm going to keep saying that one. Right, anyway. Output. How are we doing for fuel? Not bad. Have some more. Small though. So, whilst that's their hard at work, processing a bunch of ores that we found, we are probably going to jump in our small vessel. Not the new one, we'll stick to our old one for now, as it has pretty good storage. About 10,000 if I recall. And we're going to go ahead and place a few, not many, just a few more of the, uh, the auto miners down. So if we have a little look here, let's gear up. We want to go and... Is it ammunition? Is it just one ammunition controller? I got that wrong. Cargo boxes. There we go. Yeah, 4,000. I thought it was 5,000 each, but whatever. Uh, 10 of these. It's 10 of these. I mean, how many are we actually, like, doing? Hang on, let's let's look at the map. We want to do... We want to place one there on the Sathium. I don't know if we need much else. 
I like having a good stream of the basics coming in though. I will I will admit. I want to check out what's over here. I want to have a look at them. I want to have a look at these to see if they're all done or not. Because they might actually be finished. Ah, uh, poor <laughs> original Torkelin. <laughs> poor thing. Right, alright. You know what? Five should do it anyway. So we're going to go five here. Could use fusion cells. Not a bad idea, actually. Uh, but we're not going to do that for now. That's pretty much it, I think. So, yes. Do we want some rockets? We may want to just in case uh, there's, there's going to be stuff guarding. I mean, you know, there's going to be stuff guarding all the deposits. We have a look there, we're out of rockets. Do we have any spare? I must make some spare. No, I don't. I guess we're just going to have to... Oh, here we go. Do we want... Yeah, that'll do, that'll do. Just a few. Right, let's go take a look and see how these have done over here. Okay, so they are shut down. That's fine, I suppose. 5,500 storage there. It's pretty good. Let's take a look what you've got. Not bad. Not bad. There's still plenty more, though. So do you know what? Oh, okay. We're a bit hot. Easy there. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> yes, we'll take that many. Am I non-burning yet? Not quite. Right. Away you go. Excellent. Right. We also have some pentaxid here. That is still working. Oh, do you look at that? Now there is obviously a chance that it uh, might just be out. And I'm surprised there's still any left, really. It is a small deposit. Be very careful here. Speaking of pentaxid. There we go. Got a couple more. Is that gold? I think it is. Oh, there's a bunch of gold here. Gold! Okay. I don't have a drill, though. It's alright. We can make one. Anyway. Tax it. Ooh! I'm not going to be able to carry all of that. Oh crap, I'm really not. <laughs> oh no! No! I'm going to lose it! Okay. Can we, can we connect to this? Plus 126. That's not too shabby. Okay. Container controller. Hang on. Ammunition. There we go. We got it. Uh, we are a little bit hot here. There we go. Right. Now that body temperature get back to normal. Uh, yeah. That is a lot of pentaxid. That's going to be another thousand. Like, pr uh, processed pentaxid if we want it. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this. Okay, well, looking at our Prometheum here, it appears to be done. Or, you know, no longer processing, I should say. That's... Nice and light, actually. Really? Okay, away you go. Carry on making me some Prometheum. Thank you very much. Good stuff. Do we have some room for maybe a little bit more Pentaxid? I think we probably do. Really don't, don't like that the rockets are first there, because I feel like I'm accidentally going to just click it and blast a hole through the, uh, <laughs> through the auto miner cores here. Okay. Let's try and be smart about this. I don't see that happening. Okay. Right. We're connected. Good. Right. This. That. This. Done. Okay. Let's go over. Container controller. Other container controller. Done. Right. That'll probably do. Oh, and while we're here. Oh no, we've already got that. Good. Right. Those are all topped up. They are looking splendid. We're going to need to top up our fuel cells. Because we just used a bunch. Uh, totally worth it, especially for the pentaxid there. That stuff is great. Need that for complex arrestrum weapons, as it were. As well as uh, getting around, of course. So, yes, this is great. This is really good, actually. So, I'm going to go to the beluga here. Go ahead and throw all these in. What else have we got? Got them here. Oh yeah. I don't think these can actually go anywhere but in here. 
really. They can go into the loot box, actually. Yeah, change, change your plan. Loot box. Away you go. Good. Because then we can press them from here, so that's okay. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, if we go back to output, we're going to grab another half of these. That's perfect. Alright, let's go north and see what else we can find. I don't know what else I'm really necessarily looking for. Uh, we're just going to have a look at that cluster of three. Do we need the pentaxid up here? It wouldn't be the worst thing. Maybe we actually get the pentaxid that's over there, if there is one over here. Uh, I'd love another Prometheum. We didn't get very much. So clusters like this are perfect because everything's so near each other. Oh my god, we have Pentax Pentaxid and Sathium. If this is Prometheum... Ah, oh, it's only silicon. That sucks. <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, yeah, double Pentaxid should do us nicely. Double Sathium. Triple Sathium, maybe? We're going to need stupid amounts of it. I mean, comically large amounts of it. I'm thinking these three and these two. So we still are going to get some silicon in a medium deposit. That's that's pretty nice actually. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Before we go ahead and do that, let's actually see. Carry as much as we can. All right. Lovely. Is it right beneath me? Yeah. Basically. Where you go. Thank you. We've got one just down to the south. Where is it? Oh, it's, it's that close. Really good. Yeah, this is going to be the rest of this video. I'm just going to be sort of setting this up. But we are going to go to another planet as well and do stuff like that. So, there we go. Job done. Um, come on. You can get out. There we go. Alright, let's head south and we want to connect up those three. Right, so now that we have our mining operations, I would say, in full swing on this planet, I think we want to maybe look at one of our neighbouring planets for some of the resources that we cannot get. Something like anything that involves copper would be a good idea. Some neodymium too. And any rare resources if possible. Uh, before we do anything though, did I actually tell this to make more? We've got no more laser upgrade kits. Didn't think so. I think we're pretty much... We pretty much looked at them all anyway. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and throw that in there. We want to take a look at the Beluga and we probably want to top this back up because we're going to do the same sort of thing again, just on another planet. I just want to make sure I've definitely not got anything else I can make because I've got five more, I think. Was there anyone in the loot box? Was I a little bit cheeky and maybe forgot about that? No. All right then, I'll put it is. Top you up. There you are. Very nice. No surprises there. Uh, over here on the not deconstructor, is that still on from a while ago? No, it's not good. Over here, I would like you to probably just process as much of that as you can, and I think we'll leave it there. Okay. So, what planet should we go to? I suppose is the question here. I don't know. We're just gonna fly off, slowly raise. Let's take a quick look while we're... Let's, let's go a little bit quicker than that. There we go. That's the best we can do. That's fine. We have got this stormy desert planet, which I'm, if I'm not mistaken, has copper, neodymium, and more promethium, and cobalt, actually. This is a lava planet. Zascosium. That would be amazing. And magnesium. You have silica, neodymium. Mm, this has copper. All right, I think the stormy desert. The stormy desert is what we want. We want one copper and maybe a one copper, one cobalt, one neodymium, one promethium. No sathium. Wouldn't mind more promethium. That is, that does tend to be good. We'll see if we can cluster any of them up. We've got five more auto minor cores we can place. And half mind one for uh, Zascosium, but maybe another time. Okay, especially as we start to empty some of our current deposits. Right, there we go. Nice and close as well. Yeah, we've got a really good cluster here, but yeah, if we can get at least one of each of the resources, then we know we've got all sorts of stuff coming here. What the hell is that? Rich Protonium. Rich asteroid detected, recommended. 
What? 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 What is that? I'm gonna have to find out, right? What's plutonium? We'll have to watch out for that laser sentry. We do have shields. They are currently active. Da da da. It liked something I did. Uh, thank you. I got the little trumpet of victory. Now the questions that we're going to get. Oh my god, there's plasma sentries. Very, ooh, very close by. Right, we're cl too close to that one, I would argue. What are you? I, I need to... I need some of this. Alright. Can we do this in a way where we can be level? Yeah. I just realised the playfield goes all the way out there. That's all part of the playfield as well. That's incredible. There must be... I wonder if there's anything interesting there. I feel like I would have seen something. There was. Okay. Now this may not count as a proper asteroid. You cannot target. What? Okay. We're using good drills though. Oh, maybe it's uh... Damn it. Or it's protected by an admin core. Pretty sure we just need a special drill then. Voidium drill or some nonsense, right? That's probably what it is. Right, anyway. Okay, well, there we go. That's something else we can look into, isn't it? Protonium. Hmm. Anyway. So, where were we going? To the planet, right? Uh, there doesn't appear to be anything out that way. Though, my sensor just may not be going out that far. But anyway, enough getting distracted. Let's actually go to the planet. Okay, we have got some nice deposits here. We've got a large neodymium here, uh, but it is in Xerax domain. This was the complication with this system, wasn't it? This was definitely the complication, and maybe this is what we need the Torkelin for, perhaps. Uh, it is very difficult to see, though, and I can see a base on the left. Do you see it? We're, we're, we're stupidly close to it, actually. Alright, let's just sort of get some heights. We also need some night vision goggles as well, actually. Okay, I think we're good now. I hope we are. I bloody well hope so. Uh, yeah, let's put make you the player. Make you... Anything in the closet? No, it's probably going to be in weapons. Weapon palette. Right, here we go. Ah, uh, this isn't really helpful, is it? Fat sort of new you are. And this is the thing. Even if we go map... It does actually show them. Beer base. Beer defense. Not beer base. A stealth outpost over there. Stealth outpost here. A bit tricky, this. Isn't it? This is a good cluster. This is an exceptional cluster, actually. Look. Cobalt. Copper. Large Neodymium Promethium, and all we have to do is get rid of that Kern defense. Bit cheeky, I know I've used this. We targeted this, didn't we? Yeah. I think we do want to come back here. I'll go this way. We're probably going to get shot at. We are 500 meters up. Just weird how these sensors don't actually work on this planet. It's rather frustrating, in fact. Yeah, the night vision's not helping. Nope, all I can do is make everything a bit of a rave. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? This is... This planet is almost unusable. Unplayable, rather. Right, that defense is around here, I know it. I saw it. On the map, where are you? There it is. I wonder if my bait, my uh, my turrets can take it out on the ship. Oh, we we actually found it. Okay. Devices. Can my turrets? Space only. These turrets. Let's do it. Let's let's make them go for bases then. Positron won't help. 
think I can take that thing out. Do you know what? I can just take that thing out in the the ship up here. It's a basic, very basic stru uh, structure, that is. And yeah, there it is, look. Let's wait for our shields to come online. Hooray, you guys are going to get a little bit of combat before I go. Peekaboo. Let's wait here, the shields are still not on. They're taking a while. It always feels like it takes ages, like longer and longer every time I play this game. Done. Didn't seem to want to shoot. None of them do. I don't trust this at all though. I do not trust this one little bitty. There is a door here. And there's the core. Boom. Boom, baby. He's got some ammo. Nice. Fusion cells. We like that. Anything good up here? Oh, there is a little bit of loot. Cheeky little bit of loot. There you have it. In case you were wondering. Yes, there is a little bit there. In one of these Karn defenses. Karn. Karn. Alright, anyway. Right, I'm going to go ahead and do stuff that you've already seen me do before. Uh, this is going to be a very awkward one to actually get to. We actually get to this. I might have to sort of drill down. I'm not really sure what to do here. Ah. Hang on now. Ah. I guess there then. <laughs> That's really random. <laughs> Very random. Is what it is, I suppose. Alright. And uh where's my fuel cells? There's my fuel cells. I can't really carry that much at the moment. Just enough to fill that up, basically. Okay, there you go. There's our first neodymium bean mind, that is. Auto miner mind. Right, I'm gonna leave it there because you've seen all this before. Thanks so much for watching everybody, and next week, I don't know what we're gonna do. It's gonna be different, probably. I say that every week, I swear. But uh, as in, it's still going to be Imperion in some form. But uh, it'll be something different to what we'll be doing today. Right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all next time.